Welcome back to Booze Briefs. I'm Matt. Hey, I'm Derek. We are outside. It's a beautiful day today. We're finally out of the first stage of lockdown here. Still social distancing. Six feet-ish. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> so what do we got today? Uh, this is a, a bottle of Glen Morangy Quinta Ruban. Quinta Ruban. Whatever. Not not La Quinta. Not La Quinta, okay. not Mark Cuban. Okay, good. Yes. Good. Uh, this is their 14-year age scotch in a port cask finish so it spends I don't know exactly how much time it, I don't know if it's the full 14 years in uh, their casks and then it spends just a few months in a port cask to uh, hopefully pick up a little bit of nuances of some that finish yeah that finish is yeah, what that, you're looking that, for that richness that Portugal offers mm. really cool thing about this is uh, it's not all that much money they've I think they upped the amount of years on this I think it used to be a 12 and now it's a 14 and it's still in that $60 range so, okay oh well, pretty tasty do you want to try it I think you should pour me some okay no time like the present yeah boop, boop, boop. so how long have you had this bottle I see it's about yeah two-thirds of the way down yeah I got this I don't know day before month. yesterday yeah <laughs> <laughs> hour and a half ago <laughs> why do you ask oh man that is a fancy Glen Cairn glass you have there oh yeah mm. Uh, shout out to a guy on Etsy who does these. It's like 30 bucks for two glasses, so mm, good deal. It smells like booze. Yeah, and it's certainly opened up a lot. Like this, it's got a nice amount of air to it. So it is 46%, so mm -hmm. pretty strong, uh, as you would expect. And I like that a lot. Like more and more as I'm getting more into whiskeys, I find that a lot of that like 50 and under scotch it's at 40% and just all the yeah. potential for interesting tastes is just robbed. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's got all of the qualities that a scotch should have. Yeah. Plus it's got that little mm. bit of sweetness on the end. Mm -hmm. Not overpowering, not too sweet. I hate it when things are really <laughs> sweet because then I just feel like my foot's gonna fall off and I'm gonna get diabetes. It's just, it's just bad news. I just, I don't know, I don't like that. I'd, I'd rather have the heat and the, mm -hmm. you know, spice or some kind of interesting instead of just sugar. So you're saying that this port cask finish is tastier than just adding port to whiskey? I think that was actually just a little <laughs> bit of whiskey poured into a bottle of port. And we are 100% talking about the Basil Hayden's uh, dark rye and that stuff was terra bad. If you go back a couple videos ago, um, you'll see our review on that. Yeah. Didn't you say though it actually made a decent old fashioned? Excellent. Uh, I surprised <laughs> myself. Uh, it does a great old fashioned, and I almost hate to say that, but it, I'm glad it has a use in, for something. Mm -hmm. So it's been a few weeks since I had this last. And one thing I kind of forgot is it's not a peated whiskey by any means because you and I aren't, aren't peat guys. But nope. there, there's a little hint of that smoke or just a touch of it where it's got a little bit of grip to it. And right. I think that grip kind of goes against that honeyed finish that you talked about mm -hmm. where it, it's not too sweet, but it's it's rich, it's round. It's got like some cinnamony orange, like uh, Christmas spices kind of thing. Well, you know your favorite thing to do is to read the back of the bottle for us. It, Oh, get to reading, boy. Oh, <laughs> so sorry. Uh, a bold and velvety whiskey. Mm. I get more velour than I do velvet. <laughs> a bold and crushed velvety whiskey. Oh, there you go. Okay. Okay. Our Quinta Ruban port cask finish brings chocolate boldness to Glenmore and, uh, yeah, Glenmore and renowned smooth style. Savored by many for its intense depth, this whiskey is enjoyed throughout the world. Yes. Not this bottle, I assume be very small pores if that was shared mm -hmm. around the world. Yeah, I like the 46%. I'm not getting the chocolate, they that say, in there at all. surprised me to hear the word chocolate in that. I will agree that there is some boldness to it, but chocolate, I... I don't get the chocolate. No. I don't. I, don't. I like it. Mm -hmm. um, it's something I would buy. I don't have a whole bunch of scotch at my house. I have more bourbon whiskeys. I like to try different kinds, but I have a couple bottles on the shelf yeah, at we... the house. Our personal purchasing has skewed pretty heavy American as of late. Yeah, and the, the collection has amassed during this quarantine, which is a wonderful thing because the liquor stores did not shut down. So, you know, all the people who didn't want to go out who weren't buying the good stuff, so we were able to get our hands on some good stuff mm -hmm. while this was going on. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Okay. <laughs> These will all be coming to you in the next batch of videos. So, Matt, I added a couple drops of water to this. Okay. I know your mileage may vary on adding water. Yeah, I don't. I'm not. I'm not. No. Give it Interested old, to hear your thoughts. Though. Give it the old Ralphie strolly rolly, no shaky shaky around the glass. It actually does open it up a fair amount. Yeah. Yeah. Take your word for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like. I almost do get some of the chocolate. Shut up. There you go. <laughs> I, I, I said almost. Okay, almost. I'll, yeah. I'll take an almost. I'll okay. take an almost. So on our scale here. Yes. We're gonna rate this. Compare it in its its money range. It's like competitors. Yeah, and it's been so long. I I forget if it was 55, 60, whatever. But in that 50 to 60 range for a bottle of scotch, I think it's pretty darn good. Yeah. I know we've been buying, like we said, more American stuff, and sometimes there can be some real good values when you can find the good value stuff. Yeah. Um, but you're not going to get anything American that's aged 14 years for 50 bucks. No, and if you do, you don't want it. <laughs> Made this bathtub gin in 06. <laughs> Dig in. Mm, yummy. I, I like this. I know we've kind of been on the generous side with our scores, and that may change as we continue to drink more quality stuff. And what was previously a 90, we may re-review and say, that's an 85. Yeah. So with that in mind, I, I want to give this like a... 88 or so. I really do enjoy it. Uh, I like it better at the end of the night than outside on a bright sunny day, maybe. Because uh, that boldness can kind of just make it a good nightcap yeah. bottle. You of want one. Yeah. You don't want three. No. But there, there's enough in there. It's interesting. It's really nice. I like it. And I think for that, you know, I'll go yeah, 87 ish points, 88. Yeah. Um, I would absolutely buy it again. I just wouldn't race out to buy it again. So when this runs out, I would I would likely get another one. Yeah, or try a different one of their lineup. They've mm -hmm. got probably 15, so yeah. there's a lot of options there. Uh, I'd go 84, 85. Mm -hmm. It's good. I don't know that it's anything that really knocks my socks off. If it had a little bit, I know, it just may shock you to hear this. If it had a little bit more of the port finish, I might like huh. it a little more because to yeah. me, I don't, that's not much more than their 15 or the 12. I, I don't taste much of a difference mm -hmm. in that. It's been a little bit since I've had them, but from what I remember, that's not distinguishing itself yeah. as something different. There is a place in town here that does a flight of all the different Glenmorangie cask finish ones. So you can taste the Sauterne next to the port, next to the whatever the heck else they have, and then you can maybe get a little bit more of those nuances. So that's a cool way to try it. Maybe we'll have to buy all those bottles ourselves and, oh, no. and do another video someday. Oh no! Uh, oh. So that's uh, we're we're uh, ready to review some more. This was a good one. I like it. Thank you for sharing it. Absolutely. With me. And uh, we will see you on the next video from us. Check us out YouTube, yep. Facebook. Looking for those likes. We're close to a goal for us. So we need, we need some more <laughs> likes on that Facebook. Share it. Follow us on Instagram too. Uh, say Facebook and Instagram both at Booze Briefs, B O O Z E Briefs, and uh, boozebriefs.com as well. We used to have a Twitter account. We don't keep up with it, so don't follow us there. No, we're gonna we're gonna get some merch rolling out soon. So uh, look for that. T-shirts, some Glen Karen glasses, you know, some fun stuff. So to uh, to the next glass. Cheers, right. sir. Cheers.